Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Ryan Sims and today we are going to be recreating some of the promo art used for the Netflix show 13 Reasons Why. Here we are in the studio. Got my boy Nick. Hello. Who's leaving me hanging currently? There it is. Uh, I got my boy Nick over here. We're going to recreate this uh, image, uh, the promo art for the Netflix show 13 Reasons Why. Never seen the show before, but it looked like a really cool shot, so we're going to do it. So I've got my policy buff Einstein E640 flash unit. It's a great unit. It's affordable, good for studio work. Got our 35 inch. Uh, softbox or octabox on here with the white diffusion fabric. It's going to be our main light over here. And I've got this E640 flash unit as just kind of a little bit of a fill. And then mainly we've got this uh, E640 flash unit uh, with a, uh, what is this, 20 inch little honeycomb grid on this light right here. And that is our setup. It's going to create a nice little hot spot right here. It's going to be like senior portraits all over again. I think that's kind of the point for the show. Again, I haven't seen it, but I'm assuming that's, yeah. It is. They're like seniors and stuff, so. Let's get to it and start taking some shots. Perfect. Uh, and we're done. No, just kidding. Do a couple more for me. Uh, lean the head down slightly. A little bit more, a little bit more. Barely tilt, but not much. <laughs> no, give me pouty. <laughs> no, no. That's great. And then eyes up. Boom. Nice. Now I'm going to hop in there. You can take a shot at me. All right. And then I'll just uh, do the same thing. I'm so sad. I'm frightened. <laughs> I don't even know what, I, what kind of face I'm making here. That's amazing. There we go. <laughs> That's probably good. <laughs> cool. So basically now that we've got these shots, we're going to take it into Photoshop and do the rest of it. Stay tuned for that. All right, here we are in Photoshop. I've got my images already selected. I've got them pulled up. And so you can see my uh, funny, weird looking, scared face there. <laughs> so this should be relatively straightforward uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. Um, as I'm looking at this, uh, this image that we're going based off of for uh, the 13 Reasons Why promo art, um, I'm noticing it kind of has like a bluish navy blue hue to it. So I'm going to go over to adjustments and open up a new adjustment layer for selective color. And I'm going to play around with the gray tones and kind of mess around until we get this navy blue-ish color that we're kind of looking for. All right. And since I've actually got my other image of myself open, I'm just going to take that selective color layer and just drag it open, drag it over to this, and it'll apply. And now I'm going to go back to this original image. And it looks like this image is actually flipped. So I'm actually going to go click on that background layer. And oops, actually. I'm going to hit Control J to make a duplicate of that layer so I can flip it. I'm going to go up to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal to flip it. Cool. Because I'm going to end up cropping this image probably right above the text of his shirt. And so it's going to be kind of a closer up image once we get done with it. And let's see, so I'm going to do the same thing to my creepy looking face, hit control J to the background layer and edit, transform, flip horizontal. There we go. And one thing I'm noticing here is that they've got a Polaroid in the image, which actually had a Polaroid here at the house. I went ahead and took a shot of it on a green background. And normally I shoot stuff on a gray background and cut it out with the pen tool. But today I'm actually going to try green screening this. I didn't do a great job because there's wrinkles 
in the background and probably didn't light it the way I should have, but we're going to do it anyway. So I'm going to show you how to extract this from the green screen. So I'm going to go up to select color range. And now that I've got this color range menu pulled up, I am going to hold down the shift key and start clicking around on all the green spaces that I want to get out. And if I wanted to hold the Alt key to select the colors I wanted to keep in, then I could do that as well, like all of these colors and stuff like that. And you can tell just by looking at the uh, um, mask over here that's done a pretty good job of that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK just to see what it's got. All right, and let's just mask that out and see what we got. Let me hit Control I to invert that. So it looks like we got a good job. I might um, hit Control Shift N, make a new layer real quick, um, and fill it with white, and drag it below this layer just so I can kind of see if there's any green left over. And you can tell if I zoom in really close, it's got like this green little halo thing affecting it. Uh, and there's several ways we can get rid of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that layer click on the mask and go back up to select and go down to select and mask. And I want to play around with shift edge, maybe bring it down negative 68, see what that does. Maybe just go down to negative 100 and see what it does. I'm not seeing much of a huge difference right now. Um, you can also hit decontaminate colors. Um, and hit OK here and just see how much it's taking it down. Really didn't take it down a whole lot. Um, and I'm also noticing that it took out some of this little window right here so I can actually paint that back in with a white brush right here. But I'm still seeing it a little bit, so probably the quick and easy way to get rid of that is if I go up to Filter, Other, and go down to minimum uh, at one pixel, kind of gets rid of that one line pixel. I could probably go up to two and get rid of all of it. Yeah, it looks like I got rid of all of it there. And since it's a little rigid, what I might do is I might go over um, to select, select and mask, and maybe at smooth 2% perhaps, maybe. Kind of smooth it out just a tiny bit. And I think I'm okay with that for right now. So let me zoom back out and just kind of take a quick glance at it. Uh, and then there's this bottom part. I want to make sure I get that out. So with a black brush, I'm going to paint this bottom half out. There we go. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this image and make it a blank image. And also just get rid of this text right here that says parts. So I'm gonna click on the image itself and I'm gonna grab this tool right here, the um, spot healing brush, and just kind of paint over the uh, font here and just kind of see if it kind of gets rid of it the way I want it to. Basically what this is doing is just kind of cloning some of the areas around my selection and filling it in with those blank areas. All right, cool. And now that we've done that, I am going to cut this area out. Um, I may use my pen tool, but I may try to do it with the uh, uh, selection wand up here. Get a quick selection wand. Let me just see if it likes, if Photoshop likes doing that. Hey, there you go. It's a fairly good selection it looks like. So I'm gonna go over to my mask and with a black brush to start painting that out. Looks like I missed one part. There we go. 
and again it doesn't look like it's the greatest selection because it left a little bit of this behind so uh, what I could do I'm going to take my brush go up to maybe 83% no let's do 90% hardness bring my brush size down just a little bit and if I click here close to the edge and hold shift it'll make a straight line and then just start kind of painting that out a little bit and click here hold shift click my next point there we go maybe decrease the size of my brush here click here in this corner and then hold shift and then click down here there we go and click in this corner hold shift there we go click in that corner hold shift click here let's see what else we got click in this corner hold shift same thing here clicking in this corner holding shift down just to kind of get rid of this little part that's bugging me all right now that we've done that we have this blank Polaroid that we're gonna fill with an image so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my <laughs> funny looking image of my face um, go to the very top hit control shift alt E to make a stamp of everything I'll just name it Ryan <laughs> my name and drag it over to this main layer that I'm working on here Oh, actually drag it above that so I don't affect the color actually let's do this let's go ahead and hit control control shift alt E for this name his layer Nick I can get rid of these layers so I got my Nick and Ryan layer so I'm gonna actually go to Ryan my Ryan layer here and decrease the opacity so I can kind of see where our faces line up and kind of line our faces up just a little bit and if I need to decrease the size I will Nick's a little bit skinnier than me <laughs> but I'm kind of looking at our eyes right here to line up where our eyes would meet kind of getting those highlights to match up there we go and hit OK and go back up to 100% on this layer and for right now I'm going to just hold the alt key and click on this mask to make a black mask and hide that layer and what I'm going to do is go back to my Polaroid I'm going to which I'll just name it Polaroid and I'm going to drag and drop this layer back into our main file there we go so we've got this right here and let's see how we want to do this think I'm going to decrease the size of this and I'm just holding alt key and uh, yeah I'm going to decrease the size of this Polaroid to about right there kind of that half face look there we go and hit OK and I'm going to end up cropping in probably relatively close to the image so I'm not too worried that it's hanging out here on the edge and I'm going to click over to my Ryan image and what I'm going to do is with my pen tool I'm just going to click on the white areas of this Polaroid and once I make a little square with that I'm going to right click Go down to make selection. It doesn't really matter what the selection is. You can just hit zero and hit OK. And make sure it's got the inside of that Polaroid selected. If you need to hit Control Shift I to do that for inverse, you can do that. And on my Ryan black mask, I am just going to paint with white to reveal my face. Here we go. And it looks like the background layer has a blur to it. So I'm going to go to Nick's layer, 
right click and go up to convert to smart object. And once I do that, I am gonna go up to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And we can blur it however much, but it looks like six pixels. Uh, looks like that's a good blur ratio. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And I may do a couple of things just to kind of mess with the tones here. Uh, Cause I, I think it has a little bit more of a desaturated uh, look. So we could play with the color look up and just see if there's like any LUTs that kind of give us that effect. Actually, I might want to make sure that it's at the top here. Let's just see. I think this foggy night is the closest one. Probably take that and bring it down to maybe 50%, maybe even less, maybe 20%. And I may play around with the levels, just bringing up the whites, making them punch just a little bit more. And I'm debating on desaturating the image, so let's just see what that's like. Just a tiny bit, maybe negative 10%. Just to see. And on the Polaroid itself, it says the tapes were just the beginning, so I can either write that on there with my Wacom tablet, or I can use a font. Uh, I think I may create a new layer, Control Shift N to create a new layer, and I'm just gonna put text. I think I may actually write it with a black brush. Decrease the size a good bit. And I may just say this image which really you know now that I'm writing I realize I don't like my handwriting that much <laughs> and because I'm super picky I may just uh, use a defaults font and just put yeah this image is Resize this a little bit. And now that we've done that, I think I might with this Polaroid uh, just add a little bit of a little Polaroid film grain like effect to it. Um, so, what I did is I grabbed this image, uh, and what I'm going to do to it is I'm going to create a black and white adjustment layer, and I'm going to play around with the levels here. Kind of make the blacks a little bit blacker and the lights a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna hit Control Shift Alt E and then I'm gonna hit Control I to inverse it. And I'm gonna drag this effect into our Photoshop document. And I'm going to resize it, hit Control T to resize. Um, and I think I'm going to change the blending mode to screen, perhaps. Yeah. And I'm just going to resize it to where it fits within this little square. I'll just name that Polaroid Film overlay and I can play with the adjusted mode adjustment modes I mean I don't know and I can play with the blending modes to see what effect I really want uh, but I think screen is probably going to be what I keep and uh, it's a little heavy so I'm going to decrease it some and not only that uh, I'm going to um, take this Polaroid layer here, because I've got this little outlining that I don't want. I want it to fit within the Polaroid. So I'm just gonna hold the control key down and click on that mask. And uh, with it selected, I'm gonna go back up to my Polaroid film overlay and click on the mask tool here. And make sure it's inverted, control I. There we go, and that, now it's fitting 
inside of the Polaroid. We're not getting that little bleed over edge. Now I'm going to just decrease the opacity a little bit and maybe even add a, a layers level to it. Make sure you clip it to that layer and decrease the black so that the main part of the image starts to show up and it's just the outer edges that is affected. And then maybe decrease the opacity maybe to 50%. Yeah, I kind of like that right there. I think that'll work. And now that we've done that, I'm just going to crop this image in a little bit closer. So I'm going to go over to the crop tool where you can hit the hotkey C to crop. And let's see, let's go over to original ratio. And I'm just going to drag it down to about right here. If I really want to get rid of some of this font right here, I can uh, um, probably the easiest way I can think of to do it would be to control shift alt E. Use my uh, little rectangular marquee tool, select the bottom here, and just slightly drag it down. Not too much, just a tiny bit. And then maybe also just use that spot tool, spot healing brush, and just paint out that stuff right there. There we go. And there you have it, guys. We have recreated the Netflix TV promo art for 13 Reasons Why. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you can stay up to date on all of my latest videos. Be sure to leave a comment on what you'd like to see me work on next. Hope to see you guys next time, and again, thanks for watching.